Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys for a few reasons. Firstly, this is my first ever unboxing on my channel. Don't get scared if you guys aren't a huge fan of unboxings. This isn't going to be like a forever thing, but I have partnered up with Baycrate to show you guys three of their boxes over the coming months. So I couldn't be more excited because Baycrate is a subscription service that I really believe in. I've seen a lot of my friends unbox their boxes over the past year, and I have been more and more excited the more that I see. If you didn't know, Baycrate is a monthly subscription service. It offers an adult romance book and some other kind of lifestyle self-care goodies. I really like Bakery as opposed to other boxes because while I think fandom merch and things like that are super cool, it's not something that I order myself or display in my home. So having stuff that I can actually put to use is really exciting. And I've been just super interested in all the things that my friends have been getting. So I was super excited when Bakery asked me to unbox some of their boxes. So this is the October box. And I'm also kind of excited because a lot of my friends have already posted their unboxings. I'm kind of late getting this one up and I haven't been able to watch my friends videos which is sort of sad. So I'm excited to unbox this and then go watch theirs and see what they thought of the box. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that I see shockingly is uh, tissue paper. Hey, so I'm seeing some things that I don't recognize or that I like don't I can't easily place, but I got the spoiler card out so I can see what it is. And it is a little desk planter, which is super cute. I love the yellow. I like the brightness and the cheeriness. I'm definitely gonna put this on my desk at work. It basically has a removable base so you can put the water in the bottom and then just like fill it like this. So I don't know if that works for succulents, but it definitely works for some plants. So this is really cool. I actually really like that. Okay, the next thing I also didn't recognize, so I had to get the spoiler card out, but these are two felt little squares and they have sticky backing on the back and these are to hang up. Up different memos to yourself. And also, this would be, again, super good at work. Wow, big idiot moment. The theme of this box is pencil me in, and I'm pretty sure that this is an office or workplace romance. So all of this makes a lot of sense, but this is gonna be perfect for my desk at work. I just got a new job, if you guys didn't know, so I am looking for things to kind of spruce up the place, and I don't have a good place to hang notes or sticky notes, and in this job, I definitely need that. So this is perfect, and they're just super cute. I like that they kind of fit together, and I love the colors of these. I also like, again, that it's kind of a sticky back rather than something you have to nail into the wall, so this is super awesome. Awesome. I really like this. Okay, so the next thing is a felt organizer. So this is for like notes and or just anything you have to file away. Super cute. It's got like a little button closure on it. And let's see, I like it. It actually has a couple of pockets in here, which is super nice. I'm not sure what exactly I would put in here. I actually think this might be good for like stickers or anything for bullet journaling. This actually would be like super handy for a couple of like pens and some stickers and some sticky notes and stuff. I actually kind of really like this. I'm not sure that I would store legal documents in here cause it's kind of small for that, but I do, I do like this and it's like pretty well made. I this is cool. This is interesting. This is something that I wouldn't have bought for myself if that makes sense, but it's something that I'm definitely going to put to use, which I really appreciate. The next thing are these little sticky notes that have little like flowers on them. I can't, I can't zoom in on them for you because it's just gonna like wash out the picture completely, but these are really cute. Cute. I actually feel like, again, this would be really cute in bullet journal. This next thing, I had no idea what this was. I was like, did you guys really just give me a travel toothbrush? I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't use it, but interesting choice. Okay, so that's not what it is. Okay, that's really cute. So it says make it happen on it. And apparently this is a travel mechanical pencil, pen and ruler set. Okay, this is super, super cute. I freaking love this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Got your little ruler, your pen, wait, your pencil, your pen. This is pretty nifty because I feel like I'm always I'm unprepared for life I'm just gonna be real with you guys I don't tend to keep enough stuff in my purse even though I usually bring a tote bag to work I've got like my laptop I've got lipstick and that's pretty much it so having stuff for my bullet journal also having this little nifty set I'll either leave this in my car or I'll put it in my tote bag but like this is actually really nifty and I like that it's self-contained in this little container that's really nice okay I'm I shouldn't be so excited about all of the things in here, but I'm literally going to use all of them. So the next thing is this really, really cute. Okay, let me get it out of the plastic first. This really cute little mouse pad. I literally don't have a mouse pad at work. I've been working for over a year in a corporate setting and have not treated myself to a cute little mouse pad, but this says hustle on it. It's kind of like a burgundy color with gold writing and there's a little bit of shine to it. You know what, Big Crate? I'm excited. I'm so excited about all of this stuff. They're gonna be wondering why I'm showing up with this entire box at work, 
but you know what my desk is gonna be looking good as hell okay and then the last thing in here is a note to the reader and a picture of our couple this is super cute I really like the art on this and it was done by Gabriella Bejoso I don't know how to say that I'll leave her information down in the description down below I think she does a lot of art for Bay Crate and I'm really impressed by this particular art print this is really pretty and then this is just the spoiler card with the information okay now getting on to the book because that's the most exciting part right okay this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year it is a workplace romance it's not an office romance I don't think I think it's just workplace but it's about a woman who works at a power tools company falling for a co-worker and I think it's an enemies to lover situation I've heard mixed reviews of this so I'm excited to give it a try I like reading romances that have sort of like hit or miss reviews that makes it just the more intriguing to me so I'm excited to try this one out so really happy with this it is a full trade size paperback a lot of the times if Baycrate does a mass market paperback they'll also include a separate ebook for a different book which I think is a really cool touch I read a lot of ebooks so that's a super great value for money and then also and also we have a signed book plate that I can put inside the book so I am super excited about this looking at the items in front of me I would say the items that I am most excited about are probably the little travel like pen and pencil case thing I, you know it's like I don't know who thinks of these things but this is gonna be perfect for me because I'm a hot fucking mess and then also this super 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 cute mouse pad because now I don't have to go and buy a mouse pad. Like, I can just be that put together adult that I want to be. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to check out Bay Crate for yourself, I'm going to leave a code down in my description box down below, Chan5, to give you guys a discount on their monthly boxes. Bay Crate, like I said, also does some sort of like special edition boxes for special romance books, which are super fun. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing for one of those next week. So, stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, check Bay Crate out if you're looking for an adult romance subscription box with a lot of fun goodies. I love you guys so much and until next time.